So this is the first time I've vomited since I've had my pacing wires, which is really discouraging considering all I've had is water. I couldn't even make it to the toilet. I feel so embarrassed. I've got some sick bags now though, so hopefully if it happens again, I'll get it in the bag. Um, <laughs> put the caution things down of my trail of vomit. Um, I'm deciding to vlog this now and put this in the next day's vlog, even though it's only half 11 on Thursday, which is the day I had it placed. I've just had some oxycodone and I've just had my um, ontanzatron, so hopefully they will kick in, my pain will be better and I'll feel a lot less nauseous, hopefully. As you guys can see, they've placed more now. Uh, that was the trail of me vomiting into the toilet. Hey guys, so this seriously reminds me of um, when I first got my NJ ever. In fact, it reminds me of ever every NJ placement because they always tape it to my nose like this. I'm still not allowed to untape it. They won't let me. I'll just don't do it when I get home. Um, I really wish they'd put these in separate nostrils because there is a lot of stuff in this nostril and it's making it really hard to breathe out of it. I did say before the procedure, I was glad that they didn't at first because I've got this side of my face free but now that I've had it for a little while it's really starting to aggravate it. Oh goodness, you can probably hear my heat pack heating up over there. Sorry I've got a lot of saliva. <coughs> Fingers, my stomach, my throat is so bad. I've had some more painkillers and um, on Dancitron, so I'm feeling a lot less nauseous. And my pain is like okay, which is why I'm deciding to vlog now while it's still good. But I've literally taken them about half an hour ago. I had them, so they're still good. I've got to show you guys that I've actually brought my blanket with me, or I should say, Tom went home and got it. And I'm wearing my jumper that Georgie got me. It's currently 7 a.m. Tom said he's gonna get here at 8 because that's when they start the ward rounds. I just wanna go home. I don't wanna be here. Blood pressure is better but still low. So I'm hoping maybe they'll just give me another bag of fluids and send me home. Or maybe they'll just let me go home and it will improve on its own because when I have fluids, it improves slowly over the next three days. And then between a period of three and five days, my blood pressure will be really, really good. And then it will go really bad again. But because I've had like four or five bags of fluids since I've been here in the last 24 hours, um, probably gained like five kilos. <laughs> um, I wish it was real weight. Um, but my pots will be good now. It's probably starting like tonight, tomorrow, next day. So be good for the weekend exhausted i slept on and off um i think that's really everything just waiting for the doctors and waiting for tom this is gonna aggravate me i can tell and i'm so upset about how short this is because you guys know i love to tuck this under my shirt i'm gonna have to have my feet on the outside now because the little connector i can't tolerate on my skin because it digs in and it causes a lot of pain which means i'm gonna have to wear my tube on the outside which means it's gonna get caught more I hope that they give me the a okay to try and run my feeds at least and see how bad the pain is or if they just want to leave it another day and let all the swelling bruising inflammation go away from inside or heal it's not going to heal overnight but I'd rather just give my feed a shot even if it's just something silly at like 15 or 20 mils it's better than nothing um, anything's better than nothing I forgot to show you guys as well Tom got me this can you guys guess what it is? It's a cookie from Subway. I can't eat it, obviously, not yet, but I love Subway cookies. Um, and he thought, what a perfect time when I put the pacemaker to trial a cookie. You know, I don't expect this um, to work overnight, although I've had a bit of discouraging, I don't know, improvement's not the word, but, you know, output, shall I say, that has made me feel like, oh my gosh, this better work kind of thing like is this gonna work um but i'm not giving up yet you know uh 
so far no improvement doesn't mean to say that there won't be any and you know they tweak the voltages and mess around with it to try and see if that helps so with all that to come I'm not giving up i will probably be showing you guys a lot of food over the next couple of weeks i know i eat food anyway but when i do it's very small amounts like for example that waffle that you saw like was it last week i ate like the edge and that was it because i was feeling so ill that day but then on friday when i went out with my friend i ate the whole thing and then i was really really ill afterwards um again my choice i chose to make that decision um just because people with gastroparesis eat doesn't mean to say they can tolerate it um i was just craving it so bad but yeah there'll probably be a lot of food posts mainly because i'm excited to eat what i want and see <laughs> how it's going to react to the pacemaker i'm not going to go crazy you know small amounts often um but we're gonna give it a shot mine would be all up in your face jumping all over the place what type of dog do you have she's a staffy cross boxer Aww. she's a rescue puppy but she's a bit loony I don't know who's taped this like this. Some evil, cruel person that's oh, she's laughing. Asleep. She won't protest. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon that's what they do. They're like, they're asleep, slap it about, and forget that we have to take it off and you're going to hate us. Oh my god, what is happening here? Yeah, it's almost like they've done it and gone, I'm going to check it stays on. I'll just stick a bit of everything on yeah. it. What you need this fur mask on is to <laughs> prevent it from the smell of your sodding feet. Guys, guess who's here? And it's not focused. There we go. Hello. Nina and George. Um, I'm being discharged. Yay. Um, and Nina brought me a lovely present, which is being, it's been packed, but I'll show you when I get home. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're all, I think we're all just gonna walk out together. Oh God, I'm the worst vlogger. You're getting wheeled out. Okay, I'm getting wheeled out. I'm not walking. So I'll go wait for the nurse to bring the chair. Um, yeah, no, keep that blanket up. I just said that. I'm actually, is it really cold out or I'll be fine with this? No, I'll be fine with There's a that. tiny little gap between yeah. you walking out and getting into a car. Yeah, well, you never fine. know. The hazardous. I have full layers on, but I was outside for a longer period of time. True. No, I didn't stick all the sticky bits off. This might. I think you need to buy the hazard bag for your socks. <laughs> it's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. They are. <laughs> this, this whole bag stinks because it's been sitting in there for a day. Twinning. Okay, right. I will update you guys if, when I get home. Wow, so it has been quite a day since I last vlogged. I was feeling alright-ish, I was in an okay kind of state when I left the hospital, but then I got home, I've literally just been sleeping, um, I've started getting bruises under my eyes, I don't know how well you can see, but here, in here, and like here, it's like bruised, especially this side, um, <laughs> wait until I read you the surgery report get up my blood pressure is just let's not even get into it okay so guys are you okay <laughs> are we okay i just realized you haven't really seen my setup since i did i take the tape off before i can't remember before i vlogged last i think i did but basically because my tube's so short now my feed has to come out of my top and kind of sit there instead of being under. Then we've got my pacemaker. Anyway, let me read you a little bit of this report. <clears throat> okay, wide scope to D2. Old NJ removed, new 10 French NJ via wide scope. Transferred to nose after jejunal placement. Everything seems to be going okay. <clears throat> Adult gastroscope to stomach, normal blah 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 waves question mark thickened non palatable mucosa present which basically meant my stomach lining was super super smooth there was no ridges like I said to you guys so it couldn't hold on to anything wires inserted clipped into position very difficult due to tight G O J no idea what that is scope removed NJ fell back and dislodged <laughs> then 
they placed an 8 French NJ and that was placed via an adult scope. Play then as when that happened the pacing wires dislodged. So at this point we've already had two NJs placed. Um and the pacing wires have dislodged. Um so then they went back to a wide channel scope and they placed another NJ ten French. And then they had to reposition that. Then they got a peed scope and used that to guide the pacing wires into position with good impedance check. No clips were used because they couldn't get the clips to stay so they ended up screwing it in to my stomach instead of the clips. Um, then it just goes on to say how there was trauma in my throat, um, my esophagus, my stomach, my intestines, meaning there was like bleeding, bruising, that kind of thing. Um, there was also trauma at the G.A. Joe, whatever that means. Um, conclusion, difficult procedure, but wires are in good position and NJ is inserted successfully. And it just goes on to say um, that I wasn't allowed to run my feed and that I was to be admitted and not sent home. So as you can see, that was why I was in a lot of pain and why everything was a lot more stressful and shall we say traumatic than it should have been um i'm gonna try and show you the inside of my throat now to see if you can see any of the damage probably not because i'm terrible at showing this kind of thing okay you can kind of see all that red stuff basically which to be honest with you guys isn't really bad at all compared to what it's like inside I can't tell you how painful it is to run my feeds, like my feeds are at such a slow rate and I'm not even going to get the whole thousand mils, um, if I was to get a whole thousand mils I'd have to be running it for 35 hours, that is how slow my feeds are going, I think they're only at 25 mils an hour and that's all I can tolerate, um, they said to start at 30 but I couldn't do it, uh, I, it, it 25 is the max I can tolerate without being in a lot of pain, I do have good news. Finally, where is it? Oh god, everything's so far away. Eh. Guess what came? My first book. The Japanese from Zero One. I haven't started any of it yet, um, but I'm so excited too. And these are the other books. There's Japanese 2, Japanese 3, and there's Japanese 4 and 5 as well. I really wanted to start an Amazon wish list because a lot of you guys said to me that you want to send me stuff in my PO box but you have no idea what to send me so I thought oh I'll create a wish list of decent like you know like cheap things like ten dollars or whatever just something small you know I don't want you guys to spend a fortune kind of thing that maybe I want or it will give you some ideas to what you can get me kind of thing um, but it turns out Australia Amazon doesn't have a wish, li a wish list option so I can't do that for you guys um, but I thought it'd be great to put the rest of these books on there and the rest of the Harry Potter books that I'm missing from my new collection and then just a few other little bits and bobs that I really want that, you know, I, this is by no means forcing you guys to buy me things, gosh no, but I just get a lot, a lot of messages about what can I send to your PO box kind of thing. Um, but please don't ever, ever, ever feel like I'm forcing you to or feel obliged that you have to, so that's not my intentions. Okay, I'm knackered. I'll update you guys before bed. Or in case I don't, then I love you all. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. But hopefully, I'll see you guys before bed.